Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866-LAW-FRIEND. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. This week, it's an exclusive, the all new Harley Davidson lineup for 2018. And while we're at it, we take a look at Discovery Channel's Harley and the Davidsons with actor Bug Hall. All this and more here on Born to Ride. Closed captioning is brought to you by Love Jugs, the most powerful and effective V-twin engine cooling system in the world. Get your Love Jugs at a dealer near you. Find out at love-jugs.com. Hey, I'm Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. You're watching Born to Ride TV. Oh, yeah. took this on, we knew it was a massive undertaking. It's the biggest launch in the history of the company. One of the primary ethoses that we follow is form follows function, but both report to emotion. You have to really look at every element of the motorcycle and execute it in a way that speaks to our ethos, which is authenticity, 115 years now of legacy. It was exciting and a little scary, designing brand new product and bringing in the latest technology and the features. But we need to retain the, the lineage, the DNA, the styling cues, and keeping what makes a Harley a Harley. We wanted to bake in the soul of a Harley-Davidson motorcycle, and we talked to customers around the world and kind of picked their brains about what they'd like to see from the next generation cruiser from Harley-Davidson. They want tradition, but they also want technology. They wanted to experience the best of both worlds, and that's what these motorcycles deliver. There's eight models in the lineup. Each model has a defined personality, if you will. It's about fit, and it's about attitude. And they each have their own unique feel, and it will be different for each customer. They'll find the bike that they'll fall in love with. These are game-changing motorcycles. Everything about these motorcycles is an improvement over what our current bikes are. People's minds are blown. The Milwaukee 8 is our first four-valve big twin powertrain. It is the best V-twin we've ever made. We did some benchmark testing against our current twin cam uh, high output 103. That Milwaukee 8 rider is going to be three bike lengths ahead of the twin cam rider from 0 to 60. From 60 to 80, you gain another bike length. Well, it's a substantial difference in terms of acceleration and power. So let's talk about the soft tail frame. 
Our very first motorcycles were rigid, so the rear wheel was actually rigidly mounted to the frame. They had a really beautiful aesthetic. There's a line that goes from the front of the motorcycle all the way to the rear axle. With the soft tail, we're trying to emulate that whole aesthetic. We're trying to make the motorcycle look like it's a rigid, but it actually does function amazingly well because there is suspension that's tucked under there now. When they see them for the first time, they'll appreciate the style, but when they experience the goodness of a lightweight, awesome handling soft tail chassis, I can't wait for people to ride them. One of the things we've achieved, I think, is a perfect balance of the best of soft tails and the best of dynas. That classic hardtail look, that hidden suspension, right? But we've also brought in the best handling. We've married the look and the performance into one architecture that will serve all the customer needs. Most bikes have lost in the range of 30 pounds. The bikes feel lighter, they're easier to move around in your garage, more nimble, more flickable when you're on the road. These are the best cruiser bikes that Harley's ever built. It's amazing, absolutely amazing, the work that's been done and what we've achieved, because the bikes are beautiful. They're executed just in such a premium way. And then they just ride. They ride amazingly well. remaining new 2016 Harley Davidsons have got to go. Crystal Harley has a deal you can't pass up. 0% interest for 100 months. There has never been a chance to enjoy your own personal freedom. Brand new bikes, full factory warranty and 0% interest for 100 months. Not good at math? It means a $20,000 touring bike is only $200 per month. Need more info? Visit Crystal Harley Davidson in Homosassa today. Better hurry to Crystal Harley Davidson. Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices in Tom Harbor. Fun Bike Center Motorsports is Lakeland Center for Fun. Fun Bike Center is the biggest and best destination for new and used motorcycles, four wheelers, dirt bikes, and jet skis. This place is worth a look. Visit FunBikeCenter.com. Fun Bike Center is open late every Wednesday night till 8 for Bikers Night next door at Mojo's Wings, Burgers, and Beer. Check out the Born to Ride radio show every Tuesday night, 8 to 11 p.m. See it live streaming on borntoride.com. Call in and be a part of the Born to Ride radio show. Studio line 813-756-6444. Okay, are you ready? I don't know. You sure about that? Absolutely. I promised you flesh. The most interesting thing about Arthur was, to me, the fact that he was really a country boy at heart. The fact that he loved the outdoors and he was a fisherman. In fact, the first motorcycle they built was so that him and his brother and Bill could get to their fishing hole and back before supper. Um, that, was, that was what motivated their first bike. Uh, and he's so charismatic and he's so charming and he's such a fast talker that you don't expect that he's also this just down-home country boy. Uh, and that, that to me was, was really special because that's, that's kind of who I am. I, I grew up fishing and I grew up camping and, and the fact that me and Arthur kind of share that was, was always special to me. Playing Arthur was really hard for me. Um, I, I've always admired people that are really charming and charismatic and have like this, uh, just that, that magnanimous personality. Um, I've always been kind of an introvert, you know, I get awkward in groups and I kind of turn in, you know. Uh, and so the challenge of, of, of the big chest and, the, and, and the always ready to sort of face the conversation uh, was, was really interesting to me uh, as an actor because it was so diametrically opposed to my, my natural disposition. Um, which is funny because you know someone that has that natural disposition uh, wouldn't even think twice about it. Right? Like you drop Paul Newman in there and he just, you know, he just talks, and it's just you, you draw, you're drawn to it. Um, the challenge of it was was my favorite part though, and and, uh, and really just kind of falling in love with who the guy was. Um, he was so loved by everyone that ever wrote anything about him, um, but he was so fair and honest and just. Um, that's what mattered most to me, I think. And, and that was that was my favorite part of the character. I want you to stand and stop those fingers. Hey. 
Hey. Hey. Where have you been? Okay, are you ready? I don't know. You sure about this? Absolutely. I promised you flesh. And I shall deliver said flesh. We're not gonna get in. Of course we're getting in. Hey, when have I ever gotten us in trouble? All the time. Her foot shows the scale to the miniature gas explosion engine. Anna held, like that, and you draw this. I'm gonna figure this out, maybe use it for a school project. You see, this is what I'm talking about. With your smarts, you don't need to go to college. I'm trying to concentrate on it. I wish you'd come and play with me. Snuck in again, huh? Oh. bikes uh, I've had 16 bikes I've, I've wrecked uh, pretty much all of them um, the first time I was ever on a bike I was a, a baby uh, my dad would put me on the gas tank uh, he had a Honda shadow and I'd, I'd hold on to the tank it's like my earliest memory and he'd go cruising around the neighborhood I still remember when I graduated to the back seat the first time that he was like well you're old enough now to sit on the back and I almost fell off because I, I I don't know I, I was too comfortable and I didn't think I needed to hold on and I remember he took off and kind of grabbed the back of his shirt just in time, but um, I had my first bike when I was 14, uh, and I immediately took it all over the place, and uh, I went back and forth across country on it, and uh, I eventually bought a uh, BMW. Uh, the R1200C uh, is probably my personal favorite bike, just because of how unique it is. Um, it sort of somehow merged that very American uh, uh, cruiser kind of thing with, with the very sort of European, uh, engineering first kind of perspective uh, um, it was like the, the right and left brain were both just harmonized um, I've loved all my bikes though right you, you can't be a biker and not love your bikes uh, I've had Suzuki's and Triumphs and uh, uh, a Sportster so uh, if it's got two wheels and an engine uh, I'm, I'm in <laughs> Everybody, it's the Flash Man from Tampa Bay's Q105. Afternoon drive, baby, three to seven in the Saturday night dance party. We're back with more Born to Ride TV right after this. It's coming, the best old school biker rally in the state. November 2nd through the 5th, Roscoe's Chili Challenge. Enter to win two free tickets to Roscoe's Chili Challenge. Text the code on the screen, win two free tickets Born to Ride Bike Show, Born to Ride TV taping. Oh, don't want to miss Roscoe's Chili Challenge. So much more coming. Bring your tents camping. Plenty of RV parking. Sponsors, vendors, call now. This is Roscoe's Chili Challenge, the best old school biker party in the state. For more info, call Roscoe's. Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friends. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices in Palm Harbor. It's coming September 23rd through the 24th. It's the Adventure Coast Expo, sporting and outdoors, bike show, and more. You don't want to miss it. Activities include recreational trail, jeeps, obstacle course, archery, airsoft, paintball, camping, live band, fishing, boating motorcycles, trucks, RVs, a whole motorcycle day with a 10-class bike show. Sponsored in part by attorney Fran Hosh, born to ride. 
Let's Ride TNT Bike Show. Don't miss it. The Adventure Coast Sporting Goods and Outdoor Expo. It's coming. It's all happening at the Hernando County Fairgrounds. For more information, call 352-585-9775. Come get you some. I think bikers are really going to enjoy this project, and they should really tune in because uh, the bike is kind of the fourth character, right? You've got the three main founders, but so much of this project was focused on the authenticity of these early bikes and watching them develop, right? It was very similar to how you would develop a character. Um, I do a lot of writing, and, and as I was watching the, the bikes progress over a 36-year span, uh, it was kind of like watching a person become a person, right? Watching them in their early phases. And there was one point when we were working with the VLs where uh, I remember kind of looking back, you know, and they had they had some of the, of the other bikes kind of off to the side that we weren't using anymore and kind of spread around. And I remember just kind of looking at this, this uh, you know, almost like this conveyor belt of, of, of machines and, and seeing them become a, a recognizable thing, going from this sort of Frankenstein bicycle, you know, with an engine strapped to it, with no clutch, uh, you know, no brakes, uh, tension belt, uh, and suicide, you know, lever system, and then becoming the, the modern motorcycle. Um, it really was like watching a great man sort of come into his own, except it was a machine. Fun facts that uh, that I was really interested to discover uh, along the way was, uh, first of all, what these early machines were really like. Like I, I knew that I knew that most of them, the brakes were in different places, and you know uh, they were suicide shifters. I didn't realize that that a lot of them didn't have gears. Um, the tension belt system on the early bikes that most of the early bikes were were dealing with uh, was fascinating to me as a biker. Um, and, and really just wrapping my head around, you know, when you when you ride a motorcycle, everything's just so intuitive. You're just so used to things being where they're supposed to be. Uh, wrapping my head around how all these early bikes were different from one another. There was no standardized system. Um, you know, a lot of guys think they had these tidbits of like, well, you know, Indian, uh, the first Indians were this way or that way. But there wasn't a standardized way of doing it. It was just uh, sort of invention as you go. And so these guys were kind of figuring it out. They were like, well, the chains we have available to us uh, aren't strong enough right now, uh, and so they would, you know, take belts off the walls. They would gas cans were like, you know, cookie tins and things like that that they would epoxy shut. And I mean, just uh, really just inventive. Um, 
uh, and discovering the early Merkles and, and, and you know, the early Indians and all those little distinctions were just really cool. Um, that was probably my favorite part as a biker. Uh, also, the historical aspects, though. Um, you know, the fact that Harley, uh, you know, provided free classes to military men. Um, you know, that was that was one of my favorite facts. I was a big history fan. <laughs> yeah, behind the scenes, uh, I'd say I'd say Rob Arameo, who plays Bill Harley, um, he he was constantly uh, keeping us laughing. Right, so. He has this way of impersonating people that's pretty much spot on perfect, um, and he would just nail everybody. You know, all everyone's little eccentricities that that you think are funny but you don't really point out. Rob would just just nail them, and he would do it right before we'd start rolling, just in time to screw us all up. Um, over the four month period, that was like the the most consistent uh, joy I think for me behind the scenes. Um, also, Mikel, uh, Mikel was was really really focused on um, on the, the all the autobiographies he could get and we would be just about to dive into something and he would come in with this new fact and be like guys no 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 no, no. We, hold on hold on I just read this and we've got to figure out a way to work it in um, he would you know uh, discover that they all wore their bottom buttons instead of their top buttons on their suits right and he'd be like we have to no it's it's historic we have to do it and so we were constantly uh, adapting at the last minute to, to get some little detail that just seemed really cool to him. Um, and when he would share with us, it would be really cool to us. To Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming, radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. The first Harley Davidson revolution was born when four guys put a motor in a frame and took off to see how far they could go. Then the custom revolution happened, and more people started chasing their freedom hot on the throttle. 115 years later, a new wave of freedom is rolling into the world. Eight totally reinvented soft tail models, each one with a custom attitude and a ride all its own. Milwaukee 8 V Twin Power lighter, stiffer frames, all new suspension, and a ride you have to feel to believe. Now more kinds of riders can ride in their own way. Welcome to the next custom revolution. All free spirits are invited to take a test ride. Better hurry to Crystal Harley Davidson.
Harley Davidson.